Hello, 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 everybody. First person I see on here is Juan Wilson. How are you today? Welcome in. Hello, how's everybody doing today? Cindy Bates, hello. Lynette Shirley Clark, hello. How's everybody doing? As you come in, give a thumbs up. Absolutely, hello to every single one of you all. It is Wednesday, happy hump day. Hope y'all are having a great day today with God on your side. Debbie Parker and Miss Karen, how you doing today? Let me see. Don and Sonia, hello. Lenora, my holy king, hello. Y'all, I don't feel good today. I do. I got a smile on my face because I'm so happy to see y'all, but I don't feel good today. I don't know what's wrong with me, why I'm feeling kind of funky today. But the good Lord will take care of it. Terry, hello. Eula, hello. Tandria, hello. Heidi and Little Bit, hello. Gwen, hello. How's everybody doing? Antoinette, Heidi, hello. Rebecca and Rhonda Prelo. How's everybody doing? Let's see. Um, Don S. Alenia. Uh, Debbie Gibson. Hello. Crockpot. Hello. I don't know. I just don't. Y'all, I just don't feel good. I don't know what's wrong. I just don't feel the greatest. You know, I feel like I need to be in a bed somewhere. And I really noticed it. Um, go ahead and turn the oven on. Preheat. Or, or give me, hold on y'all, <laughs> sorry, give me a pan, Dakota, and just coat the pan with about this much oil in it, please. Um, I, I don't know, so it was about 3.30, and I noticed, y'all, I don't feel good. And my husband's like, so do you wanna postpone it? I'm like, no, I got people ready to cook with me, you know? So um, I don't know how long I'll be on here, We'll just see. If we're having good conversation, I'm staying on here, you know. But um, I, I know that the good Lord is going to help me to feel better. What's your name? Let me see. Starlet, hello. Definitely speaking. Hello. Thank you. Thank you all. Vincent, hello. You're fighting a sinus. Oh, my goodness. Sinus infection. Raymond, hello. Welcome in. My Holy King, Precious Terrell Unknown is here. Serenity, hello, how are you? Pat Russell, how are you? What's your name? S S Sh Shalikia? I, I don't know how to say your name, Brenda, hello. Let me see what you got. I, I need to be able to see it from, come over here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Thank you all for thumbs up. If you have not given a thumbs up, Let's make sure during this live, y'all give me a thumbs up. Let's make the thumbs up match with the people that's in here. I can see 253 of you in here. Only 71 has given a thumbs up. Let's make those numbers match during this live because I plan on give, showing y'all a good time today. At least you can do it is give a thumbs up. Huh? Uh, yes, and get those two things that I spoke of out. You know what I'm talking about? Let me see, turn on medium. Turn it to your right, 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 right there. Okay. Um, Consuela, hello. Yolita, hello. Oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna be okay. I, I, I don't know. So I kind of have a headache. I kind of feel like my stomach and my chest is bothering me a little bit. I don't know what the heck's going on. But like I said, nothing that the good Lord won't handle. The good Lord will take care of it. I don't never, I, I do, but you never acknowledge me. Okay, let me see what your name is. Your name is Mary Lou, and your last name is, see, I'm trying to look at your last name, but the messages are going so fast, it keeps bumping you out. Let's see. Mary Lou, Her Hera, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. I'm sorry if you feel like I never acknowledge you. Sometimes... Um, it's hard to see every single person in the chat. You know, it is really hard. And sometimes I have to look away 
from the messages that are going so fast. I can slow the messages down, but I, I'm never one to slow the messages down because I feel like when you slow the messages down, pe everybody feels like they're not being acknowledged. So if you'll just message me back in hopes that I'll see your name and see your message. But welcome to my channel. If you are new, feel free to say, hey, I'm new so I can acknowledge you in such a way. And if I don't see you, the people in the background will welcome you. Martha, hello, Valencia and Gwen. How's everybody doing? Freddie, how you doing today? Serenity, hello, Denise, hello. Derek Eads, I messaged you back. When I start to put um, the moderators on, you are gonna be the first one in line. You're gonna be the first one to have that blue wrench to your name, okay? Shirley Clark, welcome in. Adriana, hello, Karen, hello. What we're doing today, we are making loaded baked potatoes and we're gonna have a fun time doing it, okay? Thomas Smith, how you doing? Little Bit, hello, hello, hello. Okay, what's Little Bit says? How do you go to the new channel? Well, right now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pin the link to the new channel and we're gonna put, pin it in the comment section where you all are at right now. And you can click on that link and go over to it, or you can type the name in. And the name is Healthy Recipes with Gina. Okay, once you type that in, it takes you right to it. And so um, the first day, or I'm sorry, the first cooking video that I will be doing on that channel will be on Monday. It's gonna be so exciting. We're gonna have so much fun. And there's already a video on that channel that you're gonna to wanna to watch. Let's go ahead and get the link posted in this chat and pin it, okay? And then I wanna jump up. We're gonna get our apron on. We're making loaded baked potatoes at the Young's house. Now, I decided to get some uh, shrimp to put in ours. You all can use any ingredients you want to have in yours. If you want lunch meat ham in yours, lunch meat turkey, you want chicken in yours. You may want bacon. You may just want a regular baked potato with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some butter. That's fine, we're having baked potatoes here. Mildred, how you doing? Hello, Heidi Fuller, Susie Q. All right, this is great. Now, um, I will be doing new moderators. I'd like to say towards the end of May, maybe the end of May. So it's coming up soon, Derek, okay? Beulah, hello, Miss Karen, Lynette, Yvette Harley, hello. Do we have that in there and is it pinned? Okay, we're getting ready to pin the link to the new channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina. That whole channel is going to consist of juicy, delicious juicy, um, keto recipes, diabetic friendly, low fat, low carb, all the stuff that everybody's been asking me for and I didn't do it on this channel, you're gonna get it over there. You're gonna get it over there and guess what? So many people think, I have to keep saying it, people think that healthy recipes means not delicious or no flavor. That's not true. I'm gonna prove it to you all. It's gonna have flavor, it's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be easy to make and cost effective. Cost effective. How many of y'all are cooking with me today? Looking forward to the loaded potatoes. Okay, you're excited for the new channel. Okay, Shayla, that's great. Go over there, subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world what Jeannie Young's about to do. Okay, so now you can see that we have a highlighted link there. And it says, boom, 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 let me see. The link, you said to the merch. Why'd you put, okay, so we're gonna change that link. We put the, the wrong link, <laughs> the wrong wording, okay? So, um, and you're gonna pin that and it's gonna stay at the top of the chat. So when people come in, they're gonna see that, okay? You're looking forward to it? Okay, Myra, this is awesome. So now, um, and my ingredients that I'm gonna be using today, of course, is a nice baker's potato. Um, I have some bacon bits that are already cooked. Green onion, 
butter, sour cream, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I know right now, everybody out there saying, garlic powder? Yes, listen, if you don't know about a baked potato with garlic powder on it, you are missing out. Try your baked potatoes today or the next time you make them, use some garlic powder on it before you put your butter on there and listen here, my goodness. All right, so now let's see where it's at. Is it? Okay, the link is in the chat. Can you cook, let me see what you're saying. Can you cook barbecue ribs in the future? Absolutely I can, we're gonna be doing that soon on this here channel. Um, we're gonna be doing it soon and I think when I make the barbecue, we're gonna take it outside. We're gonna go outside in the backyard and make barbecued ribs. They're gonna be pork ribs. There might be some people out there that like beef ribs, but I'm not the one. We don't like beef ribs here at the Young's house. Okay, is everybody ready? Oh, thank you, Valencia, that is great. Are y'all ready? Did, did, did y'all put hearts in if you were cooking? Is anybody cooking potatoes today? Hello, Stephanie, hello. So Derek says, yeah, I got your email. Okay, yes, absolutely. Thank you, Sonia. My holy king, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so kind of bear with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a good smile, but bear with me. <laughs> All right, can you take that over there? Bring the thumbs up up. Let's make the thumbs up match the whole time during this live, okay? So now take this over that way. Ron, thank you for the hearts. Thank you, I love you guys. I love y'all so much. We want brisket next time, Gina. Okay, um, here's, I, let, let's talk about the brisket and then I'm really gonna get up and get my apron on. When it comes to brisket, I feel like you need a smoker to make it, right? But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and make the brisket for you all, even though I don't have a smoker. We're gonna make a delicious one, okay? And we can do it together. Keep in mind that a brisket takes a nice amount of time to get cooked, okay? So it's not something that's gonna be wham, bam, season that baby and it's done in an hour. It has to cook for some time to get nice and tender. Hours to cook, like he just said. Pray that you get better. Thank you, my holy king. I, I'm going to get better. I tell you what, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to bed after this live, y'all. I'm going to bed. Yes, I am. Okay, so <laughs> you turned the oil on. Can you grab the two? Okay, you grab the items out. All right, got my apron on. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Gina Young style. Can you go get the microphones? Mildred, how you doing today? I hope you're resting that hand. Rest your hand, get as much rest as you can so that hand can heal properly. Can you make a corned beef? when you get a chance. Oh yeah, I love making corned beef. Corned beef, now corned beef, it's so easy to make. It's so easy to make. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna get the microphones on and get started. <laughs> you're taking notes, okay. Oh, you're trying, okay. All right, got my microphone. If at any time the lighting or the sound doesn't sound good, let me know and we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Is that my computer or yours? Is that plugged up? Okay. All right, here goes the microphone. The sound will leave, but it's going to come right back. The man cave, hello. Welcome in. You're fighting a cold. Oh my goodness, I pray that you begin to feel better. You and Ron both. Let's roll, okay. We're gonna roll, we're, 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 we're getting there. 
If I can get the microphone on y'all, we'll be in good standing. Hello from Arizona. Your name is Hi. Hi or Hal? Hello. Welcome in. Oh, you had revival. All right, let's flip this baby over. Okay, fix that lighting so everything, can you fix that lighting? Okay, I don't want that in your ear while you got this going on. Not today. What did you say, say, Dayo? I, I don't know what you're saying with that message. Daylight come. Well, I don't understand. <laughs> to pieces. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make three potatoes, poking the holes in, they're already washed. And then I'm gonna show you how I like to put the oil onto the potatoes, and then we're gonna season them with salt and pepper all over the skin. I don't know about you all, but I love potato skin that has been seasoned. The potato skin has um, nutrients in it, and it tastes great when it's seasoned. Okay, so there's my oil there. I do want to grab my, uh, I have a silicone brush somewhere. There it is. And that's how I'll put the oil onto the potato. Now, if you want to take your baked potato, cook it, or take your potato, cook it in the oven, you're going to oil it, salt and pepper it, take foil, cover it up like this, and it cooks up better. Throw it onto a cookie sheet and bake it into the oven. You'll have crispy skin that's flavorful. The inside will be so fluffy like a pillow, okay? So I took this little piece of uh, a foil out to show you all that. Because there's, there's gonna be somebody in the comment section that's gonna tell me, Gina, I'm, I'm making mine in the oven. <laughs> so that's how you're gonna do yours. Everybody doing okay? Someone said, are you putting shrimp on yours? I am gonna put shrimp on mine. I just have just a couple of pieces of shrimp. And in my pan, I got about two teaspoons of butter. I'm just gonna season the shrimp with salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of parsley flakes to make it nice and pretty. Cook it until it's that perfect opaque color. You can throw it on top of your baked potato, okay? But if you want to do it with me, you can absolutely do it with me. So now let's go ahead and take this time to either rub the oil on or brush the oil onto your potato. Just like so in this manner. If you're making yours in the, in the oven, 350 degrees. I always like to tell everybody, if you're going to put two or three potatoes in the microwave, start them off at 11 minutes and when it's halfway when the cooking process has went from 11 minutes to half of that you take your potato and you flip it over to the other side restart the microwave well let's just say the potato isn't done how will you tell if your potato is done you're going to take a fork you're going to push your fork down into your potato if the fork does not go into the potato with ease then guess what? Then guess what? Your potato ain't done. You need to turn that microwave on a little bit longer, okay? So what I like to do is I'll test it with the fork. If it ain't ready, I turn it on another two minutes. Let it go for two minutes. I flip that baby back over, test it with the fork. If it ain't done then, put it back on for another two minutes. And that's honestly, I promise you that's how I do it, okay? You are, you're like me, you love to cook. Okay, that's great. I love your high energy. Thank you, um, Giselle, Gisela, I think that might be your name. So watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and season my potatoes, come on in. The salt and the pepper will adhere to the skin when you oil it, okay? Beautiful, right? Let's turn it over, season it on the other side. Okay, I'm going to be setting this onto a microwave safe dish. Okay, I'm gonna season the other side just like so. And how I like to place these in the microwave so that I can get even heat is just like this. Can you check me out for a minute? That's how I will place them into the microwave 11 minutes. Half the time during the cooking process, Flip those babies over. Let's get our potatoes into the microwave and or into the oven if you want to, okay? Are y'all laughing at me? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, are we 
everybody, potatoes are going into the microwave. everyone so now the potatoes are in the microwave get all your ingredients out now your favorite cheese that you want to use you might just want to use sour cream I want to use the Kraft Singles uh, yellow American cheese I like that and I do also like just a little bit of sour cream on mine so that's what I'll be doing I'm also going to take the time to chop up some of these beautiful green onions that I've washed Okay, so let's grab a plate, put the green onions on, just chop them up in such a way. Did you get my message saying sorry I misunderstood about last Saturday at Ron? Oh, okay, okay, that's Derek speaking to Ron. Thank you all for the hearts going up in the comment section. I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you all. So now I was trying to figure out, I think what we're going to do for Saturday, I think today we're going to vote. We're going to vote today on what we're going to be making on Saturday. We haven't voted in a long time for what recipe we're going to be doing. So uh, this evening, once I come around and we get to chit chat and uh, remind me to put up a community post and you all can vote on what we're going to be making for Saturday because I have no clue what we're going to make. Turn the heat down, please. Thank you, Ron. I like your outfit. Thank you so much to, to Shauna, Paula. Thank you. Miss B, hello. Drew. Saj said, did I get my glasses yet? I don't know what glasses. Turn it off or not? It has been a long time since voting. Turn the uh, heat off. We don't need the, the heat on right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and heat my pan up here for my shrimp. I'm going to bring my shrimp out of the uh, refrigerator. I'm going to pat it dry. Sometimes I feel like... Um, the, the shrimp will be too wet to cook. So I like to take a paper towel and block them dry, season them salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley flakes, and just cook them babies until they turn that perfect color that we're looking for. Mina B, hello. Jacquees, hello, how are you? I just signed to your new channel. And th <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Mimi, thank you so much. I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> That's great. I tell you what, we're going to have a lot of fun over there. That's what we're going to do. You bet we are. And I, I, I just cannot wait to show you all the fun that we're going to have over there. We're going to have a lot of fun. I got some other food over here cooking. That's what I'm doing right now. Dakota's hungry and I'm hungry, so I'm cooking something up. What's the weather like where you all are at right now? Is the weather beautiful or is it cold? I would just love to know. Let me know what, what the weather's like right now. Okay, let me read some messages. Okay. You like <laughs> what? You like moose hooks on your loaded potato. What the heck? What did I just read? It's hot. It's 66 in Baltimore. It's kind of chilly. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you, Miss Mary. Thank you so much. Angela, thank you. Latika, hello. It's cold where you're at. Saj, 
Josh, how you doing today? It's cold in Toronto where you live. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, I tell you what, I can't wait till this weather gets better. I can't. I'm not a fan of the cold weather. I, I'm just not. <laughs> Okay, let me gather. This is what I'm going to need. I, I need the cookie sheet. Grab the cookie sheet because we're going to need it, Dakota, for this stuff. Grab the cookie sheet. All right, partly sunny and 50 in Illinois. Okay, oh, that's Heidi. Okay. Your temperature of 55 degrees. My God, I don't think it's that cold out here, y'all. Because y'all seen I did the video earlier, and it was, it, it's kind of warm, but it's a little chilly. You know, you do need a jacket. You're not going to be freezing cold, but you, but you need a jacket. Okay, thank you. I'm making some clam strips right now, and I've got just a few hush puppies going. That's what I'm over here making for me and him to snack on, because we're... Over here starving, ain't had nothing to eat. <laughs> I got a nice hot pan and my butter is melted. Okay, just a tiny bit of butter. All right, let's go ahead and season these babies up. A little bit of garlic powder. Garlic is gonna really brighten up those gorgeous shrimp. You hear me? Absolutely, Oh wait. <laughs> Girl, a little bit of black pepper. Little tiny bit of salt. You don't need a whole bunch of salt. And, and really, the uh, shrimp, they have, they taste, you know, they have a little bit of salt flavor from the sea, you know. And then we're going to put uh, parsley flakes in just to make the color beautiful when they cook up. Okay? So that's a dried parsley. Rarely ever will you see me use fresh parsley. I'll use it sometimes if I feel like a recipe needs it, but not a lot. Uh oh, Miss Kara said, yes, Ron, let's go. Where y'all going? Tell me where y'all going. <laughs> what, what are y'all talking about? Let's get our shrimp right into our hot pan. Oh, oh, oh I couldn't be more excited about this. I was going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce onto my shrimp, but I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it today. Just simple. We're just, just simple today. <laughs> says Lanya. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is my oil. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to bring my bacon bits into the equation. I want my butter and my seasonings right near me. I'm going to need those. Here's my seasonings. The shrimp is cooking up. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Oh, <laughs> Mildred says, Gina, Ron invited us to your house for supper. <laughs> we'll be on the way. Unlock the door. Oh, okay. That's why I said, where y'all going? <laughs> Was I invited? <laughs> okay, so y'all are coming over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. It's, it's great over here. <laughs> oh, you have the same knife and it works well, Mimi. Oh, thank you, Mimi. Thank you so much for the comment. Well, you're so curious. Why? You think you'll have a better weather next month. Okay, okay, okay. It's 50 degrees there. Oh, my goodness. 57 in New York. Whee! Okay, so it's the cooking time. It's time for me to flip my potatoes over. Check on yours, okay? Flip, flip them over. Okay, my clams and my uh, hush puppies. They're corn hush puppies. They're almost done. They're pre-made and all you gotta do is heat them babies up. So that's what I'm doing here so we can have something to snack on. Can you gather um, the cocktail sauce and whatever sauce you're going to be using. 
All right, let me flip my potatoes, y'all. And y'all see how big my potatoes are. If your potatoes are this big, it's going to take some time for them to cook and get done. Keep checking them with your fork. Poke them with your fork, okay? Poke them to, to see if they're done. more minutes, okay? Let me try what? Okay. So go ahead and just set it over there. The shrimp is looking gorgeous. I'll have the camera chime down. And these are little tiny shrimp. Um, when I ordered the shrimp, I ordered large shrimp, but the store just didn't have them. So they gave me little tiny ones, and I'm happy with that. Because, you know, when you think about it, shrimp is shrimp. It's going to taste good regardless, right? Absolutely. And just a little bit of butter will give it amazing flavor as well. All right. Beautiful. Can you show them what these little tiny shrimp are looking like? They're so pretty. I may turn around and put a little bit of lemon juice on them. We'll see. All depend on how I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm full of grace today, y'all. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? All right, taking my stuff out of this oil here. Someone said they heard that orange is good on shrimp. They heard that what? Orange is good on shrimp. Should they use it? Oranges? Mm -hmm. Like the juice. Orange juice is good on shrimp. I don't know about that. Uh, I just don't know about that. I've never heard of that. Now, what I can tell you is if you wanted to make like an orange glaze or some type of, where's the dog's at? Or some type of orange sauce. That would be good. I just don't know about lemon juice unless you're, you know, being funny. Oh, lemon, lemon juice, yeah. Not orange juice. <laughs> Yo, I gotta say, I gotta taste this shrimp. I have to show them this shrimp that it's just, this shrimp is just calling my name. Oh. There, I usually eat the tails, but I'm not going to right now. Look at this. I gotta taste it. Mmm. 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 Good, baby. Good. Mmm. 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 Really tastes good. Shrimp is so easily made. And honestly, if you don't cook it long, it's mistake free. All that butter and the spices, get it out into your plate. You're gonna want that. Your potatoes should still be cooking. Everybody doing okay? I'm going to help your dad out. You're going to help your dad out in the front yard. Oh, that sounds nice. Yes, it does. That sounds really nice. Patty Carpenter says, yum. Everything's looking good. I tell you what, since I made the um, shrimp, everything smells good. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Hi. I love you, baby. That's my husband, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Alanya. Alanya Griffin. Derek E. says, I never tried shrimp on baked potato before, but it looks and sounds good. It is. Derek, it is. The first time, the first time I tried a shrimp on a baked potato, I seasoned it this way. 
and I put a little bit of barbecue sauce onto the shrimp, right? And then we threw it on top of the baked potatoes and it was astonishing. And so now when I make baked potatoes, if we have time, or if we have some shrimp in the freezer, I'll say, let's put some shrimp on. And it goes over very well. It really does. Or sometimes, if we have a ham lunch meat, ham lunch meat is delicious. Or if you have like turkey or chicken lunch meat, chop it up, saute it up just a little bit, throw that on top of your baked potato and it's amazing as well. Absolutely. So now, time to check our potatoes. Let's check our potatoes together. Go ahead. You can take your fork, push your fork down into the potato. If you gotta struggle a little bit, it ain't done. It ain't done. Turn on a little two, two more minutes, okay? If the half of the cooking process is cooked, turn it over. Uh, stick a fork in that side and see if it's done, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. We got shrimp that's done. And I'm telling y'all, I wanna eat one of these pieces right now, but I, I'm not gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Okay, so see, my fork went in. My fork went in with no problem. But I can actually sit here and say, it's just not done. It's not, it's not soft as I want it. When you think about a baked potato, you want it to be nice, soft, and supple. You want it to be airy and light and fluffy like a pillow in the inside. So therefore, you don't want to have to push with the fork. The fork should go whoop, you know, like that. It's gonna make that noise too. <laughs> it's gonna make that noise. All right, y'all. Oh my goodness, I know y'all can hear that huge crunch, right? I know you can. I'm so sorry for crunching in your ear. <laughs> um, Andre Miller said the would you rather was really fun. When are we doing it again? Maybe we'll do that again, but would you rather? Come, look, look, look what we're going to snack on. That's what it is. Clam strips. We purchased them already made. I want a, a little bit of cocktail sauce and uh, uh, hush puppies. I was able to find both of these at Kroger. There's yours over there. You want me to just slide mm. the thing over to you? We're just put could you put it on the plate? Huh? Could you put it on the plate? Yeah. When you're done, put this dish over on the dining room table. There you go. Okay. Looking so good, says Sonia. Thank you. God bless this food and thank you for everything. Everything you've done and everything you've done and everything you're going to do in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this meal. Now, am I going to eat baked potatoes with you all? So I know you are saying right now, Gina, you're eating. Are you going to eat baked potatoes? No. I won't have a little bit with y'all. How about, how about we just say that? Because I, I had to eat right now because I'm starving. Okay. Devante. I like the baked potatoes with butter, cheese, bacon, and cheese potatoes. Okay. It is, Derek, so simple to make it all. It's 93 there? Where is Kimberly? Where is Bakersfield? I don't know if I've ever heard of Bakersfield. It's 93 there. Let, let me see. Hold on. Dakota, I hope you didn't bring no sickness home. I'm good. Just went down the wrong pipe. Because you keep coughing, and then he gonna turn around and say, the food went down the wrong pipe. He ain't even took a bite yet. Yeah. You was coughing before you started eating. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm about 99% that I am keeping him home from school next year. Homeschooling next year. I'm all for it. 
I'm a great dropping drastically. Miss Karen says, Clam strips and Huff's puppies, yum. Thank you, Patty. I felt so bad. I felt so bad that I needed to eat. But the thing is, when you go live, you all get to see exactly what's happening in our household. You can't press the pause button. You can't go to break. You know, if we need to use the restroom, whatever we need to do during the live, you guys, you know, are here for it. Illinois has been cold there for a few days in a row. What about a, what about a baked potato filled with shrimp scampi? Oh, Beth. Mm, mm, mm. Beth, that sounds amazing. It really does. I'm going to check my potatoes. I'm going in with the fork so I can check them, okay? Check yours. Y'all get to hear this crunch from my goodness. Oh, and guess what? My potatoes are almost done. All right, potatoes are looking good. They're getting very, very soft. I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer because they are humongous. But we are getting there. We are getting there. Everybody doing okay? I'm in East Central Illinois here. Oh, okay. Derek says he's in East Central Illinois. And he's speaking to Heidi. So Deborah says, hey, Gina, when you make stovetop stuffing mix, how much boiling water? Okay, listen. When you make the stovetop stuffing from the box mix, and, and quote me if I'm answering this question wrong, the back of the box tells you how much water to use. I use how much they tell me to use on the back of the box. Uh-oh, Ron says, I want some, Dakota. You want to give me some? He says he wants some. <laughs> His plate is almost gone, y'all. You're in Fox Lake, Illinois. Okay. There's a lot of people from Illinois in here. Welcome, everybody. Gina, we want some. I thought I heard somebody smacking. It's Dakota. It's, I mean, you're hearing me, but you may, if you hear smacking, you probably hear my crunching and his smacking. I'm not smacking. You are smacking because he said I'm not smacking. How are you eating it so quietly? <laughs> Every time I bite it, it's so loud, but when you bite it, I don't even hear it. He said, How am I eating it so quietly? Because I I don't know. I think you're in such a hurry to eat. You're no, just I like, yeah. They just going all in for it. Uh-huh. They said you smacking Dakota. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Benjamin said, yes, he is. <laughs> it feels so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so this person. JCB says, I don't eat clam strips, but the way he got them sounding, I, I might try them. <laughs> That'll do it, right? When it, when it sounds good when somebody else is eating it, it'll really make you want it, right? Let's check the potatoes. <laughs> All right, let's see. 
see what we got. All right, my potatoes. Oh, man, they are soft and tender. Okay, I'm going to transfer my potatoes back to the same cookie sheet that I seasoned them on. I'm going to show you how I make them. This is all exciting. This is all exciting. I'm going to get, what's great is I really didn't eat a lot of this, so I'm going to be able to eat some of the potato. Okay? All right. And even though you open up a potato, and I'm going to wash my hands as well since I was eating. Even though you open up a potato and you put your um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and butter, you can still reheat a baked potato up and it'll be delicious. I've done it before. I've made my husband's baked potato earlier in the day and then later he comes back and heats it up and it's still enjoyable. You know how, I'm washing my hands off. You know how sometimes you can cook something but later you go back and you think, I don't want it because I have to heat it up. It ain't going to be as good. That's not the case when it comes to a baked potato. Heat it up, it'll be delicious. If you need to put a little bit more, uh, you know, butter or something on it, then you can do that. the gist of what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and slice that baby in half. Okay, can the camera come in so everyone can see exactly what we're doing? Okay, nice, soft, and supple. And then what I like to do is I like to take it and, and push it, okay? You can wait till yours is cooled down, okay, if you need, if you need to, okay? So now that I've done that, grab a different fork and this is how I like to fluff the potato meat for my loved ones when you take the time to help them out by doing such um, you know by helping them with the potato and you have ever went to a steakhouse you ordered a baked potato but they put a slit in it and they gave you butter and sour cream on the side that was freezing cold by the time the potato got to you the potato was cold and the butter wouldn't melt when you put it on. That's what's great about when you cook at home, you can have it as hot as you want. You can make it like you like. If you say you want extra bacon, then you can put extra bacon because you know the restaurant's not going to give you all the bacon that you really want it. You, you know, that's why I love cooking at home because I can make things the way that I want or the way that I know my family wants. If they're asking for extra butter, I'm going to give them extra butter, you know? If they want more green onions, I'm going to give it to them, you know? And extra sour cream on the side if that's what they are asking for. All right, so now come on in so they can see what we've done to the potato in the inside. See how we fluffed it up? And they don't have to work hard to get to the potato meat. Okay, so at this point, my mouth is salivating. We're going in with black pepper and a nice amount of it. Not too much. Don't get wild with it. All right. I'm going to put some salt and garlic powder in. Oh, yeah. Can they see the potato? Mm -hmm. Okay. Salt. Someone said I'm taking the right one. Which one are you taking? <laughs> You're taking which one? The one on the right? <laughs> which is this one over here for you? <laughs> which one am I taking? I'm going to take the smallest one. And I'm going to cut that baby in half and, and hope that I'll eat half of it and not all of it, <laughs> you know, because I want to eat all of it. <laughs> all right, so now we're going in with butter. The butter is going to melt into that salt, that pepper, that garlic powder, that potato, 
and just give it so much flavor. I do not skimp when it comes to putting the butter on. I just don't. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, Gina, that looks good. Yes, it does. All right, so come in so they can see what we got here so far. Somebody tell me how that looks right now. Tell me how, tell me what you think. What, what are you thinking right now? <laughs> nice sized potato. Sea life beauty, thank you. Gina, are you doing sour cream too? Yes, I got sour I cream. Am. Huh? Okay. Oh, he jumped up. He said, I'm grabbing sour cream. Okay, a little bit of bacon. Uh oh, we got a baby waiting at the door that wants to go outside. We gotta take him outside. He's being such a good boy. Mm -hmm. Can the camera show him waiting patiently to use the restroom? Go ahead and show him. Go ahead. Look at that baby waiting. Oh, you missed him. He was waiting patiently right at the back door so he could go out. We're gonna take you out. We're gonna take you out right now, okay? We're gonna take you out, baby. I got you. I got you. You're such a good boy. <laughs> they said, where'd you get them big, big potatoes? The big, big potatoes, they came from Kroger. You can buy what you call a baker potato, and they spell it B-A-K-E-R. And four or five of them come in a case, okay? And then they have, like, plastic wrap on top of them. And the baker potatoes, they're always huge and big, okay? So now, green onions if your family likes them. I like to put the green onions on... It's great flavor and it's a beautiful color, right? Who wouldn't love to see that green shining through? If you have a family member that does not want the green onion, you can use dried parsley flakes for that vibrant color, okay? So Derek E said, Gina, are you putting sour cream on? Absolutely, absolutely. And on mine, I'm gonna melt the yellow American cheese on. And, and use a tiny bit of the sour cream. Okay, so let me bring this in close so y'all can get a, a good visual of what we got going on here. That's what they're looking like as of right now. I got shredded cheese because I know that's what they want. I want the yellow American. I'm gonna let them put their own, I'm gonna take the smallest one. I'm putting shrimp on. Come on in and show the people what we got. I'm gonna put yellow American on and reheat this potato. Oh my goodness, look at, somebody say yes, Lord. Look at that, oh wait, girl. Uh-huh, <laughs> I'm excited. I, okay, so I'm officially excited. I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic powder, okay? Uh, you can dress your own potato after from, from this point forward. Okay, let me grab a plate. Someone said, does your husband think you can cook better than Gordon Ramsay? Uh -huh. um, he, <laughs> I, if I had to answer that question, I would say yes. I would say yes to that answer. You know, that would be my answer. Um, so from here, take a look. I'm going to let them decide to put their sour cream, whatever. They want shrimp, whatever else they want on there. I'm going to let them do that on their own. Okay, I'm grabbing my cheese and I want to melt the cheese onto my potato. How quick and simple. Someone, someone said, would chicken on top be good? Chicken on top, ham on top, mushrooms on top. I'm sauteed onions and bell peppers on here. Anything you want to put on top of your baked potato, I promise you it's going to be delicious. I promise you. Okay, so you see what I did. Underneath we have all those toppings. Let's melt the cheese. I'm just gonna heat it up for about a minute or so. Okay. And I still got my other food that I'm gonna continue to eat. Someone said, when do you think you're gonna go live on the second channel? Um, don't quote me y'all. But I feel like, um, I don't know if you can go live right now, right? I have to wait until I get a certain amount of subscribers. I have to wait until I get a certain amount of viewing hours. I think, but what we can do is when I come around to chit chat and talk with you all, 
we can look it up and we can be for sure um, when I can go live because I would love to do it like the first day, right? But I think um, that it takes a minute. It takes a minute to get a lot of perks. You have to wait until you get certain subscriber amounts, certain amount of views, certain amount of this and that. And then they'll say, hey, you've unlocked this. You've unlocked live chats. You've unlocked this. So once people go in, they subscribe and they do this and they're watching the videos and all that stuff, all those perks are going to come to me, okay? And that, that's where it really gets exciting. Now, the first video, I, I said it, but I just want to say it again. The first video will be done for that channel on Monday, and it's going to be a, 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 a recipe that you all are looking for, packed with flavor. You're not going to feel like you're missing anything. I'm so serious when I say it. Someone said they're going to be cooking impossible meals. Huh? Are you cooking impossible meals? Um, we can cook impossible meals, but I just have to be honest. Um, who, who said that? I wonder who said that. Um, Yo, I heard. Don't, don't worry about it. Helen Miller. Helen Miller. Okay. I heard that impossible burgers and stuff like that isn't the greatest for you. Yes, it's a meat substitute, but I did hear that it's not as, as healthy as people think that it is. So, although it's a meat substitute, somebody out there, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, please quote me if I'm wrong. Let me know what you've heard about Impossible Meats. Now, we've tried Impossible Burgers, and they are totally delicious. We've tried the possible um, uh, chicken, nuggets. chicken nuggets. Delicious. But somebody said it ain't the greatest for you. I don't know how true that is. But like I said, it ain't nothing but we could look it up. We could look it up together and find out the answer. Okay, so come in and look, and I want to show you what I got going on. What I got going on. Oh, look at what I got going on. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. You see it. Uh-huh. You do. So that's what we decided to do. Um, I'm going to then take, I still got my food here that I can eat on. So I'm gonna set that around there. Set this around there. Bring a paper towel. I'm gonna have you give me something to drink. We're gonna sit and chit chat, y'all, for a couple, uh, for a little while. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for this beautiful meal. Lord, I thank you for every single person in this chat. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your love, time, your understanding. Give us a peace of mind. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you stand no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for our new channel. Thank you for your many blessings over that new channel. Thank you, Lord, for another day that you woke us up and kept us safe. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I fall out your chili beans recipe would be good. Oh, yes. You bet it would. You bet it would. Absolutely. Okay, I'm coming around, y'all. Did the dogs go and pee pee? Okay. Huh? The dogs went and used the bathroom? Okay. Get that light out of my face, please. I'm gonna, give you the first, I'm gonna give you the first bite. I'm giving you the first bite. I know you want baked potato and it's been a while since you had some. All right? Amen, thank you, Mildred. Look at that. Somebody move the comments so you can see what's happening. Oh my goodness. Girl, you, you, you something else in that kitchen. Wow, I'm glad I came right on time. <laughs> sure you did. Absolutely. I'm going to take the microphone out so we can you can hear me. Delicious. Yes. How easy. How easy. Sometimes when it's during, the, and I'm glad I did something quick, easy, and simple today because, I, like I said, I don't feel well today. 
And I don't know if I would have had the energy to make something that took longer than this, <laughs> you know? That looked good, says Helen. Thank you, no. Uh-uh, water. Okay, I'm, I'm giving you some. Look at, y'all, look at the shrimp coated with the cheese. There's cheese on my shrimp. My goodness. Woo-wee! Mm-hmm. Oh, it's okay, Zaldi. I'm gonna be okay. Like I said, with the good Lord on my side, the Lord's gonna take care of me and I'm gonna feel better. And um, when I get off of here, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I'm either going to bed for tonight or I'm taking a nap. Okay, there it is. You got potato. You got shrimp. You got some chives and some cheese and some sour cream on that fork. Take a bite. Let me know what y'all think about a loaded baked potato. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Knock, knock, let me in. <laughs> we outside, Gina. <laughs> Every time y'all say that, I look at my door. It's so funny when y'all say that because I look straight at the front door. <laughs> knock, knock, we out here. Dakota, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Heat another piece of cheese up on here for me, please. Thank you. I do that all the time. I run out yeah, of I, I, like I want more cheese. <laughs> Have a good evening. Yes, absolutely. A quick meal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I gotta have more cheese, y'all. I feel like my cheese just, I don't know what happened. Okay, heat that up. Everybody doing okay out there? You're coming over now. <laughs> What's Prince and Polo doing? Yo, Dakota, did he go outside long enough? Look at Polo. Look at him sitting by the back door. Look at him. Gina, we at the back door. Is that why Polo's sitting at the back door? Okay, so that's what he's doing. And Prince, there's Prince. Can y'all see Prince? Look at him. He's such a good boy. Such a good boy. All right, and there's Polo. Polo's at my leg now. There you are, honey. Did you have, did you go, did, did Dakota bring you in too early? You need to go outside. Do you need to go back outside? Dakota, take them back outside. I think he gotta go. He looking like, he looking like he didn't stay out there long enough. They said, they said, take them back out. They need to go, Dakota. Why are you still standing there? Oh. <laughs> she said, poor Polo. <laughs> they are sweet. Thank y'all. That's better. I needed more cheese. Poor Polo. <laughs> Is it safe to go out? He's going to go out with them. He's going to go out with them because, as we know, we got coyotes. <laughs> we got foxes. We got wildlife. <laughs> we got any and everything out in the backyard. And we're watching those babies very well when they go out. I'm telling you. Now, we did hear, they're teacup morkies. We did hear that. Um, foxes are nocturnal and we don't know why they was out in the daytime like that the other day but they're afraid of animals that could potentially fight back but we don't know if they're afraid of like a dog that's five pounds they might look at them like a meal you know, so I don't know. So we're just going to be careful just in case. Texas has a ton of coyotes. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, they're teacup Morkies. Thank you, Sonia. Mating time is at daylight. Oh, let me see. But they have babies easily. Oh, is that right? I would like to go to Texas. I would like to go to Texas just to see what it's like. Um, I would like to go to Texas just to see what it's like. Be Samford. Yeah, raccoons are scary. Uh uh, how about possums, y'all? Now, V Samford, the new Texas is so hot. I, that's why I want to go. The new channel's name is Healthy Recipes with Gina. We pinned the link into the comments the wrong way, Dakota. I wanted it to be highlighted to where when any and everybody came in, it would be highlighted in blue and it would just stay there. It's not, I don't see it. No, I'm talking about on the channel. Look at it on the computer and see. Mm -mm. It's not, it's not with Gina Young. It's healthy recipes with Gina. We did a little different this time. Healthy recipes with Gina. This weekend we're going to be working on a new intro for it. We're also going to be working on um, a new banner and a, a lot of other stuff that we have to do. Thank you, definitely speaking. Oh, you haven't washed it yet? Okay. Yes, without young on the end. Okay, Helen. Okay. Somebody out there wants a bite of my baked potato. I'm going to give it to you. Look at the smoke coming off. I don't want to burn my mouth. Look at that. Take a bite. You know what? Mmm. Appendix. I don't know why it's not saying I know because there's a section that I know. I'm going to show you how to pin it, Dakota. It's interesting. I was going to say something, y'all. What was I going to say? Oh, guess what I was going to say? Maybe I didn't feel good because maybe I needed to eat something. I'm feeling a little bit better. Look in the inside of my hush puppy. Can you all see the big pieces of corn? It's more like a corn fritter. That it's got to be the best hush puppies I ever had, y'all. It is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this food is so good. My goodness. What am I eating that's so crunchy? This right here is a baked potato. I have clam strips. And I also have hush puppies. That is delicious. Oh, okay, Gina. Lori. Okay, this is interesting. Gina, Lori is new on here. She's my friend. I got her watching your channel. Lori, welcome. Everybody, welcome Lori to the channel. Thank you, Mildred. Lori, welcome to my channel. Today, I just have, I, I hate that I didn't, that I don't feel my best today. 
but you're gonna have to catch me when I'm feeling when I'm when I'm feeling up to par. We have the time of our lives on this chat. You hear me? Thank you all for welcoming Lori. So now I'm waiting on the uh, weather to break so we can go outside, do our lives outside, cook on the grill outside, have a good time. I'm waiting on the weather to break. I just want a, I just want a full week of the 70s or the 80s. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. <laughs> 50s, 50s and 40s is a no for me right now. You thought I was eating bacon? It sounds like bacon, right? Mm-hmm. It's time for the barbecue. I'm gonna do the brisket, like you all were asking. I'm also gonna do the corned beef like you all were asking for. You too, Sonia, you love the warm weather, absolutely. So now, let's go ahead and, y'all, I just tasted the bacon on this baked potato and the green onion with the cheese all at once and it tastes so good. Let's go ahead and take this time. I want for you all to throw some ideas of what you all would like to be seen made on Saturday when I go live. I'm going to write down a couple of the top ideas that everybody's asking for. If you agree with something that somebody is saying, say like let's just say somebody says pizza, and you're agreeing and you would love to see pizza be made on Saturday, say yes pizza, and come back with your next message and say yes pizza, <laughs> you know, okay? or. If you have your own request of something that you would like to be seen made on Saturday, throw that idea out there. Oh, thank you, Mildred. Throw that idea out there. I'm going to write it down, and then I'm going to make a community post. In the community post, I'm going to say, hey, everybody, time to vote. Vote because your opinion counts. Here are some ideas that we could, what we could be making on Saturday. We're gonna let the vote go on for about 15 minutes. After you all have voted for 15 minutes, we'll see which one has the most votes, and that's what we're gonna be making on Saturday, okay? So now, I'm gonna go ahead and give me my pen and paper over there, please, okay? And I'm gonna write down ideas. I'm getting ready to look right now. I see gumbo. I see gumbo. It's right here. It's right here. You're welcome, Lori. Absolutely. I'm glad you're here with us. Okay. I got the pen and the paper. Okay. I'm seeing barbecue. All right. Let's see, somebody says seafood. I'm seeing a couple people saying seafood today. Okay, a lot of people is saying gumbo, my goodness. Okay, so let me write it down. Gumbo. I'm only gonna write it down if a lot of people is agreeing with what you're saying, okay? Like, I see seafood. If I see a lot of people, like a big turnout of people saying seafood, I'm gonna have to make seafood, right? A.S. just says something with seafood. Okay. Gumbo. Seafood mac. Gumbo for the win. Look at that. Seafood stir fry. Seafood. <laughs> seafood boy. Oh my goodness. You all want seafood, don't you? Let me write seafood down. Okay. <laughs> so. 
let's write down four things. I have gumbo and seafood down. Stuffed chicken. Y'all, listen, somebody just said stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken sounds amazing. Grilled lobster, veggie pizza, veggie lasagna, seafood gumbo, barbecue baby back ribs, <laughs> mustard fried chicken, ooh, mustard fried chicken, jambalaya, stuffed shrimp. Somebody saying yes to seafood. You all are wanting some seafood from Jenny Young, right? Okay. Stuffed chicken is good, says Saj. Okay, okay, I'm looking at the messages. <laughs> Katie says, oh my goodness, you're making me hungry. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. We'll solve that issue. So I have gumbo. Turn that down. I have gumbo. I have seafood. I have stuffed chicken. So those are three. I need one more and then I'll post a community post. Here's where it gets fun. Everybody has a time in their lives when I say, go vote, <laughs> right? So let's see what y'all are saying. Beef back ribs. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So now let's just use this for an example. Mildred is saying beef back ribs. If y'all turned around right now and you said, yes, beef back ribs. Since I don't cook beef ribs, I don't like them because I don't like the flavor. They don't have a lot of meat on them. I'll cook pork ribs, but when I'm making them, I'll be showing you and telling you all how you're going to make your beef ribs, if that's okay. Because you would just make them exactly how I'm doing my pork ribs, okay? So if that was one that we chose, I'm going to use pork you can use beef, you're gonna cook it exactly like I make mine, okay? So I just want you all to understand that somebody says stuffed pork chops, come on, shrimp and grits. Enjoying watching, thank you. Shrimp and grits, oh, people are, turkey wings. Shrimp and grits, please. Okay. Okay, meatloaf. All right, all right, okay. So let me look. I'm gonna see what I see the most of. I'm, go I'm gonna be, let's see. Get out of here, Ron, I know you're lying. I'm gonna make sure whatever I see the most of, that's what I'm using, okay? Cucumber tomato salad. You know that sounds good. Okay, I'm looking, y'all. All right. All right. We got stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken's on there already. All right. So the one that I see is the most of, I'm seeing shrimp and grits. Y'all wanted some seafood after seeing that shrimp, right? Shrimp and grits, let's put it on there. Okay. Y'all gonna get to see my handwriting, you're gonna crack up. Okay, I got gumbo, seafood. Seafood, when, when we, since y'all are saying seafood, We'll decide that when we get there, what seafood could be, okay? And uh, this is stuffed chicken, and this is shrimp and grits. Gumbo, seafood, uh, stuffed chicken, and shrimp and grits, okay? So now, 
Shrimp and shrimp. <laughs> you just want shrimp, right? What is jambalaya? Jambalaya. Oh my goodness. I, I can't remember exactly what it is. Although I have it on my channel. I'm so sorry. I have it on my channel. I believe I have two recipes for jambalaya and it's served with rice. Oh my goodness. And it's so delicious. Okay. Look. So now, I'm gonna do the community post right now. Mm -mm. We gotta throw another one on there. I gotta throw ribs on there. It's too many ribs on there. So now, let's do the post, okay? Fried bologna sandwich, that's a great one. <laughs> I put ribs on here. Somebody was at the front door. I seen. Let me look in the camera real quick. Hold on, y'all. Let me look at my front door camera. <laughs> and the dogs is barking. Let's see who goes there. Let's look and see who went to the door. Oh, it was Amazon. They put something on the chair. So you can wait until they leave, and then you can go out there, okay? Give them a second to leave, okay? So now, get the dogs back in here. I love liverwurst. All right, let's do the community post. Did you hear me? Wait for them to leave, and then you can go out and grab it. All right, community post coming right now. So, what is a community post? A community post is where... You can turn it off. I'm gonna go to my channel. I'm gonna say, we're voting um, on possibilities for foods to make on Saturday. Vote now, your opinion counts, okay? We're gonna wait 15 minutes, let that 15 minutes go by, and whichever one has the highest count, that's what we're gonna be making on Saturday, and I'm gonna feel better, and we're gonna have so much fun, okay? All right, so here we go. We're gonna do a post. Hello, everyone. We are voting on which food to cook this coming Saturday. Vote now, your opinion counts. Here are the options below. The first 15 minutes of this poll I said it wrong, y'all. <laughs> okay. Here are the opinions below. After 15 minutes of people voting, I will choose which food had the highest count, and that's what we will be cooking live on Saturday. Have fun voting. Okay, so the poll. Oh Lord, why did they do that? Have fun voting. <laughs> that's how they do you. Have fun voting, voting, V-O-T-I-N-G. Okay, so now we're gonna add the poll. I can't get my poll in there, y'all. It's not even letting me. Okay, look at this, Dakota. Why isn't it not letting me? I love stuffed shrimp with crab meat. Ooh. I seen somebody do a stuffed salmon, and they stuffed it with crab meat, and it looks so delicious, y'all. I was thinking, I have to do that for sure. <laughs> Let me see. Do you see why? No. Let me see. Okay, so something happened to where, where's my computer? What are you doing on there? Okay, hold on y'all, they're not, they're not letting me do it. Discard the post, my goodness. Hello everyone, we are voting on what foods to cook this Saturday. Live cooking session on Saturday. Vote now, your opinion counts. 
After 15 minutes, I will look at this poll and see which food has the highest count, and that will be what we will cook on Saturday. They're, they're not letting me do the post image. Option one, did they change it? Okay, let's try this. I, they may have changed what I'm looking at, y'all. Gumbo. Add option two. Oh, you got it. Maybe. Seafood. Add option three. Stuffed chicken. Add option four. Shrimp and grits. And add another option. They're not letting me put the ribs. Okay, this is all new. Can you can you do that on the computer? We're having issues, y'all. Let me see. The, Let you see what? The paragraph. I'm gonna write you don't need to see my paragraph. Just put in what I asked you. Yeah. Okay, y'all. This is just not letting me do it. I don't know what's happening here. So everything I put um, gumbo. Seafood, stuffed uh, chicken, shrimp and grits in. And it's just not working. So I don't know what is happening here. So what he's going to do is he's doing it on the computer. The computer where we have our YouTube studio, he's going to post it. When it's posted, I'm going to discard of that. When it's posted, which will be here in about five minutes, y'all can go over and vote. So now what you're going to say is... Um, we are voting on what possible foods to make live on Saturday. Vote now, your opinion counts. Okay? Um, am I talking too fast? Okay. All right. Give, give Dakota a minute, y'all. Give him a minute. Give him a minute. He, he's working. All right, everybody okay? Y'all still with me? Mmm. Bev says the shrimp and grits sounds good. Thank you, Sonia. All right. I got gumbo, seafood. I'm new here, Fr uh, Francina. Francina, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us. All right. Gumbo seafood, stuffed chicken, shrimp and grits, and ribs. Which one will it be? It's going to be exciting to see what you all voted on. Now, I got to tell y'all, there's some slick people out there. Oh, there's some slick people out there. Some people will try to do this. I'm going to tell you now. Some people will vote on something. And then they think that. If they click on something else, they're going to do two votes. It don't work like that. Your vote will come off of the one and go to the other. There has been times that we voted on things. Listen to me. There's been times that we voted on things and we've had a tie. If we have a tie, we're going to have to spin the wheel on the computer to see which one we're going to uh, do. Okay, so you got it? They did a whole new... Okay, so this is new. Looks like you can't do it on your phone anymore. All right, so it says we're voting on what possible foods we could make for Saturday's live. Okay, the poll is getting ready to be posted right now. You didn't say vote now. Vote now. Okay, can we post it? Mm -hmm. Gumbo, seafood, stuffed chicken, shrimp and grits, and ribs. Okay, let's go to post it. It is posted. Okay. It's posted. Go over. Go over and vote. Vote, y'all. Vote for what you want. Now, don't vote for what you think I want. Because I'm, I'm, up, I'm up for the challenge for anything that y'all vote for, okay? 
Don't vote for what you think everybody's looking for. Vote for what you would like to see be made, okay? Let's have fun. Let's vote. Everybody, Lori, Lori, get in there and vote. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, JCB says, fingers crossed, something other than seafood. <laughs> uh, that's what JCB says, something other than seafood. Please, fingers crossed. I could just see you saying that right now. Okay, K Coffee said, I voted. Kizzy, how you doing? Gina, get my message above. Okay, Sonia just devoted. Okay, let me see. Get your message above. Let me see. Can you do a poll in the live and have live votes? Absolutely, I can. Okay, let me look for your message. I, I, uh, Gina, I know there's another way to do inside of the of the chat room. There's an option inside the chat room to vote. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. A lot of people are saying they voted. I'm going in, y'all. I'm going in to see what you all have done so far. Oh, okay. So from this point, Ron, if you can put a 15 minute uh, timer up, that would be great. Let me look at the, oh, I got some numbers, y'all. I got some numbers. You know, other channels do that. Okay, Derek, try to find out for me. And when you find out, let me know and we'll do that, okay? So right now, Gumbo is coming in at a strong 27. My goodness. Seafood is coming in at a strong but very low 13%. <laughs> Stuffed chicken is coming in at a very strong 24%. Shrimp and grits is hanging in there at 21%. Ribs is hanging in there just by a little toenail, 16%. Okay, but it's okay. Listen, the roles may switch, so don't nobody get all excited about what you think may win because it may not win. I've seen it happen. Okay, so hopefully you all have a 15-minute timer up. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell you what the numbers change to. I can't wait. I'm looking now. Whoa, the numbers are changing drastically right before our eyes. I'm not looking back at it. Not for now. Not for now. I just seen the numbers. If you're curious, go over and check out. Uh oh, Mildred says, come on, Gumbo. Okay. Oh, man, you voted for Gumbo, too? Okay. Kay Clark, how are you? Okay, I see a lot of people want that Gumbo. My goodness. Okay. Kizzy voted for Gumbo. Okay. Oh, Sonia wants shrimp and grits. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to vote on the community tab. Vote. Oh, you voted again. Uh oh, Saj is, Saj is sneaky right now. Saj done voted a couple times. Remember, however many times you vote, your vote will come off. Marie said, Marie said she won ribs. Your vote will come off of the first one that you clicked on. It will go to the other one. Little Bit says, I want gumbo. <laughs> I think, is that what you said? Okay, and Rhonda says, baby back ribs, please. So I just laughing at me. <sighs> gumbo, 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 says Derek. Okay. Oh, you changed to the stuffed chicken, Lynette. Okay, listen, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You never know what it's going to be. You never know. And, but I'm up for the challenge. I wouldn't care if y'all said you wanted boiled eggs. I'm going to show up for it. I'm going to make it. And it's going to be some of the best boiled eggs you've ever had. 
<laughs> I'm so serious. You just made the stewed chicken. My goodness, was it good? How do I get to the community post, Loretta says. Loretta, I'm gonna show you, okay? So let me wipe this phone off that I have here, and then I'll tell you all what the poll numbers are. Can you tell me where to vote, Miss Cake says. I'm gonna show you right now. So if you go to Gina Young's channel, check, check me out. Y'all know this is Gina Young's channel. That's my banner, that's my face. You know that's my channel. Right here, you're gonna see home, you'll see videos, you'll see shorts, you'll see live. Well, that bar right there, you can slide it over until you see playlist. You're gonna see community right there. Click on community and right here is the poll. Scroll up and there's a poll. It says that gumbo is coming in at a whopping 34%. Seafood has 10%. Stuffed chicken is coming in at a whopping 23%. Shrimp and grits is at 19%. And ribs is at 14%. But that's how you do it. So, how do I do it again, Gina? Can you please show me one more time? Absolutely. You're going to go to Gina Young's channel. Underneath my channel, it will say home. It will say videos. It'll say shorts. It'll say live. It'll say community. Click community and lift up just a little bit. You'll see the poll and you're gonna be able to click on whichever one you would like to click on, okay? You got it, I know, okay. That's great, you said I got it. And you know, for the people that's not sure how to do the, um, how to get to different things on the channel, one day when you're just sitting at home doing nothing, just go to my channel and just click on things. Just click and see, you might click on the store and you'll be able to see the store, what stuff we're selling on the store. You might wanna click on the playlist. And if you were, thank you Ron for the time. And if you were to click on the playlist, the playlist is gonna take you to holiday recipes, dessert recipes, seafood recipes, meat recipes, vegetable recipes, soups and stews, Italian recipe. It's gonna take you all over the place. So let's just say you clicked in desserts and you see that I might have 500 desserts on there. Absolutely. And then you can check out all the desserts on there. Or you say, I wanna know how to make some good vegetables. You're gonna click on the vegetable playlist, okay? You're gonna find collard greens, you're gonna find mustard greens, you're gonna find kale greens, how to make green beans, how to make cream cauliflower, right? The whole rundown. So the playlist is something that you wanna play with too and check out sometime, cause it's amazing. Like we take our time to put everything in its own uh, playlist so you can, you know, so you don't have to wonder, like I wonder if Gina has a recipe for shrimp scampi. Well, you just go to the seafood and fish, click on it, you're gonna look, you're gonna say, there it is. She got five recipes for shrimp scampi, right? It's so much fun to look at that stuff. Okay, fruit salad, I got it, Myra. I got fruit salad, it's in my holiday playlist. It is. Oh, now, he said octopus, Yo, octopus is good. Baked koala. Get <laughs> octopus is really good. If it is grilled, I am so serious. It's so good. We had some calamari the other day that was astonishing, and I made it. Thank you. What's your name? Miss MJB, thank you. Absolutely. You clipped, you kicked yourself out, but you're back now. Welcome in. Never had it. Sonia, I pro and it's not, it's not a nasty seafood. It's not a dirty seafood. It is totally delicious. I'm talking about the octopus to Sonia. You gotta boil it, right? They wash it off, I believe, don't quote me. They may wash it off with a little bit of baking soda. And they get it nice and washed off and cleaned. 
they boil it just for a little bit and they take it and you dunk it in hot water, right? The hot water does something special to it. And then you turn around, you can put it in the oven to bake it. You can put it on the grill to grill it and it is so delicious, y'all. You gotta trust me when I tell you. I like octopus and I like squid, which is calamari. Okay, the, glor the glamorous life says I like octopus and calamari. You're gonna try lots of seafoods in the market. Uh-huh, you have to. Don't knock something ever until you try it. Try it before you knock it, before you say it, you don't like it, you know. It is so good to be grilled, yes. Gina, there's nothing like your, let me see. There's nothing like your tomatoes and cucumber salad. Tell the YouTube family about it, please, it's so tasty. Okay, so this is Anita Brown, thank you. He said seven more minutes on the poll. Seven more minutes, let's look at it right now, because I want to know. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about my um, tomato, cucumber, and onion salad really quickly. So I make an amazing, I, I make it year round. Although, I definitely like, like to step in and say we really make it during the hotter months. So you use fresh tomato. You're gonna use a sweet onion. You're gonna use cucumbers. You chop it all up, check me out. You're gonna use vinegar. You're gonna use sugar and water, a little bit of black pepper. You just let everything sit in there. And the tomatoes. The tomatoes, the cucumbers, and the onions are so delicious. It's something that happens, it, because it, it kind of makes the vegetables sweet and sour. You have the sour from the vinegar, but then we put sugar in it, and then we put water in it, so it can be sitting like in this marinade. Y'all, when you come back and eat it later on that evening, my mouth is salivating just thinking about it. You come back and eat it the next day, it's one of the best side dishes that you could ever have. It's a palate cleanser. My family begs for it in the summertime. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, let's see. What are the people saying? All right. Gumbo. 32%. Seafood. 10%. Stuffed chicken. 25%. Shrimp and grits. 19. Ribs. 13. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. And it looks like we got about four more minutes left. And then now the people, there's gonna be people in the background that's not on this live, that don't know that the poll has basically closed, you know, after that 15 minute mark. So I'm gonna choose, well, I'm not gonna choose, I'm gonna read off which one is the best, which one has the most numbers and that's what we're gonna be making. And right now it looks like we're gonna be making gumbo unless some people out there change their mind. If you want seafood, change your mind or vote. If you want stuffed chicken, change your mind or vote. If you want shrimp and grits, change your mind or vote. If you want barbecued ribs, change your mind or vote. What the sea, uh, what's the seafood choice? You all just kept saying seafood, so I don't know. I just wrote down seafood. That could be anything. It could literally be that you all wanted um, uh, lobster, lobster rolls. We could have we could have did a plunderatha, plunderatha. <laughs> what am I saying, y'all? <laughs> Plunder. The color. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Plethora. <laughs> heck am I trying to say? Y'all, finish my word for me. A, pl a plethora. <laughs> right, what's the word? Like, I'm, what's I'm the, saying, the I'm trying to say it could lobster bisque. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sonia's laughing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It could be a multitude of stuff when you think of seafood. <laughs> when you think of seafood, it could have been anything. Could have been lobster. It could have been lobster tails. It could have been crab legs. We could have did anything. We could have barbecued some shrimp. 
Okay, so it could have been fish. So that's what I'm thinking about when I said seafood. And if y'all would have chosen seafood, let's just say y'all did. Since I don't know what seafood meant, I would have to say, okay, we're doing crab legs and lobster tails. Y you know, that's how I, that's the only thing I could think of. As far as that word, just forget I was trying to say whatever I was trying to say, a variety. I, I felt like I wanted to say plunder a th <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Get it together, Gina. It's okay, because y'all can use the excuse that I didn't feel well today, and my mind just wasn't with it. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> Shanique's dreams, don't you laugh at me. <laughs> Mildred is cracking up. I know the word, but I can't spell it. See? You know the word, because I really am trying to say a real word. I just don't know how to pronounce it or spell it. <laughs> Pletheratha, plunderatha. I, I don't know. I might be speaking a different language. <laughs> platter, he said, is it a platter? Pla pl See, Sue H. Sue H, are you serious or are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I can't even think of it from... Pl <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to pronounce none of y'all words. Uh-uh, give it up, Gina. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> All right, let's look. We only got a few minutes. I'm going to disclose, or should I wait? Should I look at the poll right now, or do I wait? Ple See, I feel like Anita's word is right. That's what I was trying to say. One minute. I'm going to wait. I'm not even going to look at it. In one minute, see, K. Clark, I feel like we're, we're on a roll. Y'all know what I was trying to say. And what I was trying to say was really a word, right? See, I'm not, I'm not cuckoo. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, but you tell me when the time, time is up. Okay. He said the time is up. Let's go. Hurry up, Gina. Let's get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it. Okay, time is up. Gumbo is in at a whopping 35%. Seafood is in at a whopping 67%. What? I'm just kidding. Seafood is 10%. Stuffed chicken is 26%. Shrimp and grits is 16%. The ribs was 13%. It will get your, 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 your tongue tied. Okay, so it looks like gumbo one. Fran Francina says, wait, okay now. All right, all right, so gumbo is it. Okay, see, Susan knows, so, Susan, you know the word. You know I was trying to say a real word. I just couldn't get it out. Uh oh, Mildred says gumbo for, oh yeah. Okay, 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 this is exciting. Okay, so now, what we will do, this is what we're going to do, and I need y'all to listen to me and check me out. We'll do gumbo Saturday. On Wednesday, we're going to do shrimp and grits. Okay? And then the following Saturday, we're going to make us some ribs. Now, if the weather is great on Saturday, we'll make the ribs outside on the grill. If the weather is crappy, it's cold outside, we'll throw the ribs in the oven, but they'll still be good. Okay, that is, it's fair enough. So now, let's write that down. <laughs> y'all gotta tell me what I just promised y'all. <laughs> tell me what I just promised you all. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So now, Wednesday, shrimp and grits. Saturday, uh, what are we doing Saturday? Saturday is what? Gumbo. <laughs> it, you know, that happens to my mind because... I'm constantly reading the messages, and as you're re I'm so serious, as you're reading messages, 
it is so hard to think about your next thing that you want to say. All right, Saturday is gumbo. Wednesday is shrimp and grits. And then the next Saturday is ribs. All right, I got this all written down, okay? It's all written down. So now uh, I think the person that said that's fair enough. It is fair. And I, I like that. I like that because kind of everybody gets what they want it, you know? It would be nice if we can cook the ribs on the grill. It would be nice if it's warm enough. If it's cold, we just gonna cook it inside. It's still gonna be delicious, all right? And if you love beef ribs, you can still cook them. Because you're gonna use the recipe that I'm using for my pork. It's gonna turn out just as delicious, just as tender, just as flavorful, okay? Okay, we got it. Except for the seafood. And the stuffed chicken. But, doesn't mean that we won't get to the stuffed chicken and the seafood. Because at any time, I can turn around and make a video um, on both channels for seafood or stuffed chicken. Okay? So just make sure. Oh, May 6 ribs. Okay. Just make sure you all are subscribed. Oh, you're not. So many people say that they're allergic to seafood. My grandma said that my grandma said that she used to love seafood. My grandma is yet passed. You know, she's been passed for a long time now. But she loved seafood and her favorite seafood was mussels. But when she became older, she became allergic to, I don't know if she became allergic to seafood or allergic to mussels. But I think that's really interesting where at some point in your life, you can have, you know, seafood. But then when she got older, she couldn't have it. She was allergic. That's really interesting to me. Thank you, Purple Love. Yes, we will, a little bit. Let's see, I need to build up a small house so I can just step down <laughs> with your plates. I know. No worry on cooking. <laughs> yes. I tell you what, I would, I would feed y'all too. You would know when dinner would be ready because you'd smell it. you say, oh, I know she done in there. I can smell it. Am I feeling better? I can actually look at my eyes and tell. Um, I can say I feel a little bit better, but I don't feel the best. Um... But we'll get it together. Like I said, when I get off of here, I'm going to say an amazing prayer to our good Lord Jesus. And I'll, I'll get to feeling better. I will. I know I will. So I'm not going to worry about it. You know, I'm not feeling the worst. You know, I don't feel like I have a cold or anything like that. I just don't. I don't feel the greatest. I don't know. Kind of up in here, maybe a headache is just, just something is off. Your sister can't eat freshwater fish, but not saltwater fish. Oh, but, but saltwater fish, you said go figure. I know, some of that stuff's weird to me. Lay back and enjoy the N NBA playoffs. You became allergic to shellfish. I think it depends on uh, preservatives. It definitely could. Okay, let me see. Healthy food recipes 
that tastes good. I feel like, why do you have it two times? Healthy recipes with Gina at in the kitchen with Gina. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that okay? So that's not exactly, you're getting there, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Do you want to ask the people what they think? Sure. Okay. So let me show y'all what's happening in here. Right now, you said sure pretty quick. Okay. Sure Dakota, our 14 year old, he's working on the banner for the new channel. I told him I want a vibrant banner. I My favorite color is blue. Um, I don't like pink at all. He knows that. The banner. What's the banner? The banner is when somebody goes to your channel. There's always a banner at the top that's going to show about your channel. He's working on it. He's been working on it for about, I don't know, a couple days, but he's been trying to figure out what can I do? How can we make it great? I'm going to show you all what he has on here, and y'all can give some ideas of what you think can go on there, and maybe you can be a part of building the banner. Okay, so let me show you what he has so far. Okay, if you'll take the messages off of the board, you can look at it real quick. Let's see, how can they see? Okay, hold, hold on, y'all. Uh, how can we do this? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna flip the camera, and then you can look at it. Okay, hold on, hold on, bear with me. Okay, so this is what he had, take the, take the uh, messages off so everybody can see. Take your message off, see life's beauty. Okay, so that's what he has right there. Healthy food recipes. That right there is a juicer that we're going to be juicing. You know, we're going to be doing juicing. This is what he has so far. Healthy recipes with Gina. The other channel says in the kitchen with Gina and subscribe. But that is not what I'm looking for. If y'all have ideas, tell me what the ideas are and maybe he can uh, bear with the camera, y'all. And maybe he can figure out what would be some great ideas for this banner. Okay, so if I see a message from you, I'll tell Dakota what you're thinking. Because I was thinking like fresh fruits and vegetables on the side, maybe some salmon. Um, you know, but me personally, I'm not, I don't, I, I don't specialize in making banners, so I really don't know how to do it. Okay, so if you have a good idea, tell me and I'll tell him and maybe he can make it happen. I'm just blotting my face because my face is sweaty, y'all. Okay, so they said good idea, Robert. Okay, so let's see what Robert is saying. I agree with Robert. Take the pink out, take the pink out and the purple out, says Rhonda. Okay. And put purple. Okay. So Robert says add fruits and vegetables. Okay. Add fruit. I don't like pink at all. Like pink is, I don't like pink and I don't like red. I don't like pink or red. I'm not a fan of orange. I, I'm just not. I don't want to be. Here's the thing. I don't want to be picky, right? No, heck no, I don't want to be picky. But when you have something that's going to be your baby, you want it to be what you're looking for. And you won't get what you're looking for unless you ask, right? I don't like red. No, I don't. I like yellow. Replace the pink with green. Different stir fry pictures in the banner. Different stir fries is a good idea because stir fries is healthy foods, right? Okay, so he's working on it. And once he gets to a certain point, he's going to show y'all. Okay? Because see, when he asks me, I'm like, I don't know because I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't specialize in that, you know? What about a big fruit basket? Okay, that's what uh, 
Anita says, what about a big fruit basket? Make the banner black with different shades of blue. Blue colors in a banner. Blue and green. <laughs> so there's so many. Can you hear the ideas? Okay, okay. So he's working on it. So we'll give him some time to work. We'll come back and see what y'all are thinking. And uh, we'll see what he's got. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a process. It might not get done today. I keep telling him it's not going to happen overnight. You know? <laughs> oh, he said, but the, okay, Ron says, but the fruit and vegetables is too generic. Exactly. Dakota said, exactly. <laughs> so, it's a lot to think about. It is. Especially when you want it to look nice amongst all the others, you know? Mm hmm. It's really something to think about. Yep, that's yours. Uh-huh. You can put your own anything. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need it, but thank you. So what do you mean? You don't need it. I'm a... You gonna take care of the dog? You okay, let me see what you say. You need a rich food that you make healthy. Yellow would pop out. I think okay, Kay Clark says, uh, I think fruits and veggies, but you do like red roses for Valentine's Day. I do, Thomas, but as far as when it comes to like the color red, wearing red, or having things red, I don't, I don't like it, y'all. I'm wearing red today. Gina, but you got red on today. I know. <laughs> I know I'm wearing red, but I'm not a fan of it. Blue is my color. Blue, green. You look good in red. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here he go. My husband, you look good in red. Yeah. I don't like it. Thank you. But I don't like it. <laughs> you can wear it more often. Lime green. So Sea Life's Beauty says lime green. Yes, Heidi. Yeah. Red is beautiful on you. Oh, Sonia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And she says, I like red. I think it's a good color. <laughs> I've always thought that red looks like a red. I don't know. I don't like it. It looks like a color that's not clean or something. No, it doesn't. Yeah, right. He said, he said no, it don't. Yeah, yeah right. right. That's what I think. Yeah, right. I think blue just looks like heaven. <laughs> oh. I, I do. <laughs> I'm okay. so serious. Okay, so I see what you're doing with your color. Uh, he said, oh, okay, I see what you're doing okay. with your it's color. Red mean, okay. I, I, <laughs> I'm getting it now. Heidi <laughs> <laughs> said, how do you say it? it does not. I don't like it, y'all. Never did. Okay. Red is your favorite color, Sandra. Yes. Red is a death color. Mm -hmm. So Robert says, or an animated treadmill. Now, I don't want this to be... Um... I want this to be healthy cooking, not a workout channel or not a fitness channel. I don't want a fitness or workout channel. It's just going to be healthy foods, healthy food recipes. Thank you, Oteka. Lori says red and black is your favorite colors. Is that right? Well, Lori, I'm wearing it for you. Lori, I got the red and the black on just for you. <laughs> just for you, Lori. Okay, so Sue says, would you like a deeper blue on the banner with a golden yellowish color? So Purple Love says, well, <laughs> here's what he's doing. Every time y'all say it, he's changing it to the color. <laughs> so what you do 
is you just literally just listen to them, you know, listen to the messages. <laughs> because every time y'all say it, he's changing the colors. <laughs> just listen and keep those messages that they're saying in your mind. Healthy, yes, that makes somebody, uh-huh. How about blue, yellow with beige? Blue, yellow with beige colors. Looks kind of like a Wolverine. Absolutely, Renee, thank you. Blue and green are your favorite colors too. Okay, Oteka. And when it comes to uh, blue, I like all colors blue. Oh, she likes it because it's the University of Cincinnati. Oh, that's her college colors. Okay, Lori. Okay. And it's the colors of the Redskins, says Ron. Okay. Hello, Carmen. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Salads, smoothies, leafy greens. You don't. Kizzy says, I don't like red either. I know, you had me, but the beige. <laughs> yeah, when he said beige, I thought, wait a minute. I didn't know he was going to say beige. Blue and green. Uh-huh. Blue, ooh, blue and silver. Now, now we're getting somewhere. So he's listening to all these messages. Add stir-fry veggies in the, veg in the banner. Gina, my. Hi, Kathy. How are you? What about a peach color? I I like peach. It's it's kind of close to pink. It's kind of a little too close to pink for me. <laughs> Blue and silver is pretty together. Yes, it is. Okay, Dominique says they have one. Fruits and veggies together in the shape of a heart. Fruits and veggies together in the shape of a heart with a spoon and fork. Carolina blue. That's gorgeous. Blue is uh, UNC and Duke colors. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It's not. I know, Jackie. Mm-hmm. But I also like the idea of, like, the color of a wood grain cutting board for the whole back. Oh, yeah. A wood grain cutting board, which would have to be brown. We don't like brown, but a wood grain cutting board make, to where it looks like a wood grain cutting board for the back. And then, and then foods here and there. It, it's, it's a lot to think about. And we'll see how it turns out. And I want y'all y'all to let, let us know what you think about how it turns out. What we have on there right now is just what it's just something to have on there. <laughs> when it changes for good, we're going to let y'all know. So 
It's coming. Um, we applied for it um, the day we had the party. That evening when I got off of the live, we applied for it and they said it takes two to three weeks. And then, remember when I was in the backyard with y'all the other day, I got a message from them saying, hey, go ahead and apply out. We already applied. They sent us the verification saying that it's on its way and everything. So we're just going to patiently wait on that plaque. I didn't want to do the picture of me this time. We're going to do it different. I didn't want no picture. No picture. I don't want a picture of me this time. Not this time. When you get it, will you show it to us? Absolutely. Um, but if I'm not on a live and the banner is done, we're going to go ahead and post it. And then y'all can go over there and check it out yourselves. But let's just say he's done with it or he gets done with it while we are live. Absolutely, you'll be able to see it. What did they want in the heart? They said inside of the heart, vegetables. fruits and vegetables. Yeah, that's what did they want? They said they wanted like a fork and a spoon. And a fork and a spoon. What about Polo and Prince pictures? I, I, the reason why I would say no to that is because it's not a channel about dogs. You see what I'm saying? So let's just say we did a channel about the dogs. They, we would have their picture up front and personal. But since this is a healthy food channel, we got to display the food. I didn't want to display my face on this banner. It, it can get really interesting. And this is what we're doing right now. It's what we've been working on for the past couple of days. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh! What about veggies? that spell out your name. That would be nuts. I think it's a great idea, but that, that would be nuts. I'm trying to picture it. You'd like that. I, no, I'm not saying I like it or I don't like it. What I'm basically saying is that's a great idea. Let me, let me show them the heart that you have with the fruit and vegetables inside and the fork and the spoon. So he's going to show you all this. If you don't like it, say it. you don't like it. Because it's okay. Listen. Because uh, what we like to do with Dakota, we can't send any mixed signals. We're not going to say, if we don't like something, we're going to say, um, no. You know, keep trying. You're doing a great job, but we want something. We're looking for something else. You know. Thank you, Jers, Nate. Thank you for coming in, joining us. Thank you. Let me see what you have. <clears throat> Putting a fish with, oh, hold on, this might be interesting. What about putting a fish in with the fruit and veggies, says Myra. A fish? With pineapples inside, banana trees. <laughs> what the heck? See, uh, uh Derek, pineapples inside banana trees. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. On the cutting board in the background. Oh, Derek's laughing. Um, that, that would be nuts. Pineapples. Hold on. Did you say pineapples in banana trees? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Renee, hello. Mildred is cracking up right now at Derek. 
Okay, so Heidi says, yes, that would, would look healthy if you put the fish fillets on there. It would be great. See, yesterday I was telling him, put salmon. And you know how I decorate the salmon with the lemon slices on it and maybe some parsley flakes? Put a piece of salmon on there. Put a salad on the other side. And put... Um, uh, healthy recipes that taste delicious in the middle. But we did that, and but I still wasn't happy with this, so I don't know what I want. <laughs> Y'all, my husband came in. He grabbed that baked potato. He put some more butter on it. I don't know what else. I think he put sour cream and bacon on there. He's gone. The dogs followed him straight to the basement. It is. Well, she said, well, that's a lot of options. So you got a lot of options that they threw out there to you, Dakota. Oh, liver and onions and biscuits. Ooh, y'all, listen, I have been wanting to make, uh, what, what is that box right there, Dakota? What's that box right there? Yeah. I have been wanting to make liver for you all. But the local market that I've been shopping at in Kroger's, I can't find liver. So I ain't been able to do the recipe for y'all. You said my favorite yum yum liver. I love it. <laughs> I was just thinking of some tropical scene inside of the banner. You want that or they want that? Tropical scene. Which one do you want that? So what, what kind of tropical scene? No liver, thank you. <laughs> My holy king says, I, no liver, thank you. A picture of blackened salmon on the banner would be nice. Sonia says, no liver, uh-uh. Fish, leafy greens, and lemon. <laughs> okay, okay, we're done. Y'all, we're done with the... that. I think that's because I think he's getting... He, he's like, okay, wait. He's taking all y'all ideas and he's going to put it all in one banner. <laughs> we're going to have all kind of stuff on that banner. <laughs> have you tried chicken liver? You bet I have and I love them. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Yeah, Heidi. Or was that Heidi? Yeah. Erica, how you doing? Look, I'm just curious. I'm going to go over the community post and see if people are still voting. Let me see. So the gumbo, it, if we were looking at the uh, community post as of now, even though the voting has stopped, 36 for gumbo, 14 for seafood, stuffed chicken 22%, shrimp and grits 15%, Ribs, 14%. So it kind of still stayed the same. A couple numbers went up, but people are ready for that gumbo, and I'm going to bring it to you. We're going to have a good time Saturday. So listen, if you want to, um, gumbo consists of making, make sure you make a nice amount of time for Saturday because gumbo consists of making a nice root. It's going to take us some time to make a beautiful roux, right? When we make our roux, we want for this roux to get brown. We're going to watch it turn a golden brown color. At first, it's, it's like a, a white. And then it turns, you know, like an off-white. It'll eventually turn like a peanut butter color. And then it'll get even darker. Now, when the roux gets darker, okay, Check me out, when the roux gets darker is when we're gonna add our ingredients and the recipe will begin. So I want you all to set aside some nice time for Saturday, because the dish takes a while. But I tell you one thing, once you make this recipe, you're gonna love it, you're never gonna forget how to make this gumbo and your family's gonna be all excited. So now, in my gumbo, let's talk about what I'm going to be putting in there and the possibilities of what you can put into your gumbo. Okay, so 
Oh, somebody says a beach scene. A beach scene. Anita, a beach scene with fruits and vegetables. <laughs> okay. Um, in the gumbo, you can put chicken. You can put unduly sausage. You can put a beef sausage or turkey sausage. Okay. It does not have to be any pork sausages. Okay, Mildred? If you love turkey sausage, you love beef sausage, you can use that. You can put chicken pieces in it. And you also can put seafood into it, okay? So what I'll be putting in mine, I'm gonna be putting some chicken pieces into my gumbo. I'm gonna use andouille sausage. You can use beef or chicken sausage or turkey sausage, all of them. All the above is going to be delicious. You don't have to put seafood in it, only if you want to. If I decide to put some seafood in it, I'll most likely get maybe some crab legs or some crab claws. Okay? You can also purchase a container of crab meat if you want it to. You do not have to put seafood in it if you don't want to do that, okay? So, we're going to have so much fun. Whether you decide to do all chicken or just sausages in yours, it's gonna be delicious because the flavor is gonna come from, we're gonna be using onions and celery and bell peppers. We're gonna make a roux that is so flavorful. Listen, this is it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna make some Jiffy cornbread on the side because you gotta have cornbread with your uh, gumbo, okay? We're going to make rice to go with it because you have to have rice with gumbo. But I'm go you said two hours to cook it. Uh, we'll see. I can't promise you how long it's going to take, but it's, I can promise you it's going to be delicious. That's one thing I can promise you is that it'll be delicious. Okay, so you left pink in there. How you leave pink in there? You said you're in Texas. You're under a threat for a third time. What is it for a to tornado? My goodness. Oh, Myra says what time? Myra, it's gonna be, um, on Saturdays, it's always 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we, can, we go a little bit earlier on Saturdays. And I feel like when we start cooking at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, it gives us more time to cook and chit chat. You know, when we start cooking at five, well, we're usually not on the live that long. Let's see, uh, yes, they're having tornado warnings in Texas. Okay, Derek, oh my goodness. Yes, absolutely, we're praying for everyone right now um, that everyone is safe in Texas, in the name of Jesus, absolutely. Y'all, if you need to take shelter, go to a basement, uh, please do so. Absolutely. Don't never take um, tornado sirens. I'll always take them very serious. Where is, let's see. Oh, you are, my holy king. You are, you're in a treat. You're, you're in for a treat when it comes to this gumbo that you all voted for. <laughs> now, there is a, there is a ingredient that you're going to need to buy if you're cooking it with Gina Young. It's called filet. I don't know how you spell it. Let me look it up. Filet. Filet makes gumbo. It makes it taste authentic. You want it to taste authentic? I'm gonna show you authentic. But you're gonna need to find gumbo filet. Okay, let me look how you would spell it, okay? Because I don't know how to spell it. Gumbo filet. F-I-L-E. F-I-L-E, okay? It's like a greenish color, and it's almost like a powder. 
it makes you think of um, poultry seasoning. Gumbo filet will thicken up your gumbo and it gives us a flavor that you're looking for that you know of what gumbo is, okay? Now, I do know that Walmart sells it. I don't know if your local market, wherever you live, has it, but if you cannot find it, if you cannot find it, what you wanna do tonight, and it's not gonna be very expensive, what you're gonna have to do tonight, get on Amazon, order you some gumbo filet, F-I-L-E. I'm gonna, let, let me look on Amazon right now, just to see if you guys were curious, how much is the gumbo filet? And can we get it, to, how quick can we get it to us? What all, what? Is there shrimp? You can put shrimp in it, Derek, absolutely. Yes, Myra says, can we put cod in it? Yes, you can. You can have fun with this recipe. And no matter what ingredients, what meats or seafood that you decide to buy, let's just say you have completely different uh, meats and seafood that I have, I'm still gonna be able to tell you while I'm cooking live, how to cook it in detail. I am the in detail queen. I'm, I'm so serious. I love to teach in detail. I love to know what ingredients you have. I'll be able to tell you over the live chat how you're gonna do yours, okay? So, uh, what did we say? What did we say? Oh, Amazon, let's go to Amazon. And let's see how much the gumbo filet is. Let's just see. Gumbo filet. All right, here we go. We got both dogs in here. You see both baby babies? They're both right here. Okay, gumbo filet. Okay, F-I. What'd I say? F-I-L-E? Gumbo, gumbo filet powder. Let's see. On Amazon, it is. Okay. See, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, this is nuts. Okay, so this, just listen what I'm seeing. So the gumbo filet in a 5.3 ounce. It ain't getting here till May 3rd or May 4th. So that ain't the one I'm gonna be, be buying. This is only if I can't find it at Walmart, okay? Now. This one is a two-day shipping. It can get to you by the 28th. It's $5.80. See it? I, I don't know if y'all can see that, okay? $5.80. It's on Prime. Zatarin's is the name brand. Gumbo Filet. It could be to you in two days for $5.80, okay? Okay? Uh, and then there's a real big one for $24 they can get you overnight. I'm, sh I'm sure you can. You can, you can deliver me the one that costs $24 and overnight, right? My goodness. Okay, but on a serious note, the other one will take two days to get there. They're selling one for $8. They're selling one for five. First thing I suggest that you do, Go to Walmart. Go to your local market where you buy your regular spices. See if, if you, let's look on Instacart. <laughs> Instacart, do you? Okay, I'm gonna go to Instacart. Gumbo filet, let's see. I'm going to Kroger. I know you might not have Kroger. Gumbo filet, it came up in Kroger's. Okay, hold on. What the heck? Hold on, the name came up, but it's a spice there. Uh, no, I don't see it. So the name, Tor tornado tore up Sam's Club. Oh my goodness. Now, listen to me, y'all. Let's just say that you and me, 
We cannot find gumbo filet. I'm gonna have you get a, I just seen it. My goodness, where you at? Cause there's always options. Okay. Oh, you can't find it. I'm gonna have you get a Cajun seasoning. Any kind of Cajun seasoning that you can find is what I have to have you get. Any kind, Gina, but I found this kind. What kind are you getting? Any kind of Cajun seasoning is what you're gonna get, okay? We can work with that without the filet if you just can't find it, okay? But we'll try to find it and we'll try to have it, but if we can't, Cajun seasoning. You're gonna need Cajun seasoning anyways, okay? <laughs> there's, always an, there's always different options. Zataran, there you go. Zataran has it and it's delicious. Okay, so let me show y'all what he has. Okay. So, can you move some of this stuff, please? Go around there and move. Uh-uh, move it, move it, move it. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what he has on the banner. Will too much filet make you sick? Um, I've never put too much. I really don't know how to answer that question. Um, I don't, I don't know. You already checked Kroger and it didn't show up. Okay, that's okay. Um, Cajun seasoning will work. Okay, so let me flip this over so I can show y'all the banner. All right, check this out, y'all. Healthy food recipes, there's the juicer. All right, because we're gonna be juicing vegetables and fruits. There's the heart with the vegetables and the fruit with the fork and the spoon. And right there, it says healthy recipes that taste good. Okay, there's the juicing machine. And right here is something else. But we're, we're getting there, right? I'd love to know what you all are thinking right now. We're getting there. We are getting there. Keep up the great work, Dakota. You're doing good. You got great ideas. We're getting there. Uh, Derek said, that looks great. <laughs> Sonia says, I love it. <laughs> Put a rich meat dish. They said they love it. It's nice. Looks great. Looks great. Looks good. Look at them. That's nice. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Off to a nice start. Absolutely. As his dad just dropped him a cup. Uh, how much money you got over there? I see, I see that pile of money over there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You be working hard, don't you? Yeah, look at him smiling. I should put the camera on his face. I didn't know your dad dropped you all that money. <laughs> look at you smiling. <laughs> good job, Dakota. You're doing a good job. We're, we're going to get what we're looking for. Put a veggie stir fry dish in the banner. Veggie stir fries. I always think the veggie stir fries is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, it's such clean eating, right? Can you make the wording in green? Can you make the wording in green versus the white letters? The green would pop in front of that yellow banner, right? Okay, so somebody says, I'm back, what did I miss? Oh, you didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. <laughs> y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed your time today here with Gina Young. I usually don't put glasses on when I got a hat on. I, I don't really, I'm not a fan of that because the hats, I like to wear my hats down low and it smashes my nose. Then the glasses smash my, smash my nose. Let me see. Okay, so let me show you what the green would look like up against the yellow banner. 
That green looks gorgeous. That green looks gorgeous, Dakota. <laughs> they said, that's great. That's better. They say yes, the green. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. That is very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're saying great job. <laughs> I tell you what, this is what he likes to do. He likes, you like to do stuff like this, right? How many computer classes did you take this um, year? This year I took four. He took four computer classes. He loves the computer. He likes techie stuff. So uh, are you taking computer classes next year? Um, yeah. He's taking computer classes next year. He will be in the eighth grade. I will be taking robotics. And he's going to be taking robotics next year. And, and also, you're going to be taking a what, cyber security. A cyber security class. And also, he's going to take um, what 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 is it? Uh, AP class. What, what is it called? Uh, advanced history. He's going to take advanced, an advanced class as well. He, he, he can take one advanced class. So this is exciting. This is very exciting. He wanted to do more advanced classes, but they want to start him off on one. See how he does, and then if he does well, then he can, the next year, he can do more advanced classes. So this is all exciting for him, especially for this being his first year back to school in person. He's having the time of his life. Gina, um, Gina asked, can you show the banner again? Thanks in advance. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Okay. So somebody wants to see the banner again. Okay. So let's see. Okay, they like it. Okay. All right, let's see. So I don't know if I want the healthy recipes with Gina in the, at, in the kitchen with Gina Young to be green because it's so small. We can't see it. Okay, look at that. What do you think? What, what are you thinking? Queen wants to see the banner. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. When you said Gina, I just thought somebody named Gina was in the chat, you know. Oh, hold on. I may have lost connection with you. It is. It, it is. When the computer world, y'all, they was raised up on computers. You know, when we grew up, we wasn't raised up on computers. And, uh, you know, you almost have, ha when you're born nowadays, you are born into all, now, and now they got AI. They got so much stuff, so much new technology that is just, it's really mind blowing at the stuff that they can do now. It is. It's more different ones like peppers and things. Okay. Do brighter colors, Queen, Queen C says. I had computers in the second grade. Is that right? I'm not a fan of green. I think it clashes a bit. Can you use a bit lighter color green wording? Computers are in their blood. You're right. I, I can't wait to see y'all, to, to show y'all the final results. Now, let me ask you this, Dakota. Sure. Do you have all your homework done? You do, Did y'all hear him say he has it done? You have. Is that shocking? <laughs> no, it ain't shocking. I'm just making sure you got it done. Do you have your homework done? 
Do you have your clothes ready for tomorrow? Yes, they are ready, actually. Yeah, I y'all, I don't believe nothing he's saying right now. Yes, my clothes are ready. Yes, my homework is done. That, that, that's what he said. Your clothes are ready? Mm -hmm. They're ironed? Are they ironed? <laughs> huh? They're good. <laughs> they're out, but they're not ironed. So you got to make sure you leave time where you can have your clothes ironed and you have time to take a shower and all that good stuff, okay? Like I said, this is not going to happen overnight, okay? We this cannot happen overnight. We're going to we're going to get to everything that we need to do in due time. We're not going to rush it, okay? Cuz as of now we have a banner, okay? Don't feel like you need to rush anything. Change the green on the blue to yellow. Change the green on the blue to yellow. Change the green on the blue to yellow. The, ye the, the banner in the middle was yellow. I know, I know, he, he will, he will, he will get it. Thank you, Ron. Mm. Man, that water is good. Well, y'all, I'm going to get ready to get off. I love y'all to pieces. Thank you to all of the new people coming in. Welcome to my channel. Thank you all for coming in and joining me. Thank you all for going over to the new channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina. Go on over and watch that video. Give a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done yet. Um, we're going to have a good time on Saturday. Looks like we're making gumbo. And I'm, here's what I'll do. Today is Thursday. If I don't post the ingredients tonight, I'll post them first thing in the morning for the gumbo. Okay, so we can cook gumbo together on Saturday. We're going to have a good, good, good time. If the weather is nice outside... When it's time for us to chit chat like we're doing now, we'll go in the backyard, but only if the weather is nice because I don't want to go out there with a jacket on, you know. So I had a great time with you all. I think y'all made me feel a little bit better. Well, actually, I'd like to say, Gina, if you said, you know, you said you feel better, how much better? I'd like to say I feel 70% better, but I feel like I need to lay down and just relax for a little bit. So thank you all for bringing my spirits up. I love y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. And guess what? I ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. Give me a hug, y'all. Bring, bring it in. Give me a hug. I love y'all so much. Can't wait to see you on Saturday. Monday, I'm doing the first healthy recipe on the new channel. You don't want to miss that. Be there or be square. Yes, hugs to you all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for loving on me. Thank you for being loyal subscribers. I will see you all tomorrow. I'm doing some recipes. And then Saturday, we're going to have a fun time, okay? God bless. Yes, I'll see y'all on Saturday, okay? And this guy right here, I got to get him to iron in his clothes getting in the shower. He's going to have to cut the computer off for now. <laughs> all right, I love y'all. I'm going to go outside. See, with my, my husband's outside working on the car. He's either cleaning the garage out or working on one of the cars. He's doing something out there. I love y'all. See you later, okay? Good night.